Welcome to the fish survey protocol. 24 hours prior to making this video, Mr. Baisley and Mr. Kane placed these traps in the wetland. Some little guys in there. Oh, look at them all. Two two liter pot bottles are joined and perforated with many holes to allow for water flow to make the traps. Take the lid off and shake it into the pan. We examine the fish in the trap for species, total length, and in the case of the three spine sticklebacks, we also look at morph type. Okay. So, take a look at these. Three spine stickleback in breeding color right there. These turquoisey look. This is a male. Starting to get red right under the jaw here. And we'll take a look in a second and see which evolutionary morph this is. His total length is from nose to tip of tail, 55 millimeters. And then this one right here. As you can see, plates going all the way back, and then when you turn them sideways, you can see it's got a keel that thickens the tail. So that's a fully plated morph. That's the saltwater form. This one's got plates going all the way back. And Mr. Baisley, does it have a keel on the tail? Yes. So it's another full plated or FP morph. Sticklebacks belong to the same family as seahorses and have armor plating on their sides. This individual has armor plating going all the way to the back of the tail and a sharp keel right where the tail narrows. So it's a full plated morph. This one has plates going halfway back and a keel, which makes it a partially plated morph. And then finally, this is the lower plated morph that has very little armor on the sides, only going partway back, and has no keel on the narrowing of the tail. All right, so here's a clear example of a nice big fully plated morph. You can see the keel right there and you see the plates that go all the way back along the back and from the coloration it's probably a female and I think I can just see the bumpiness that might be eggs in there. So she might have be what's called gravid or have babies inside. And she's about 55 millimeters, pretty typical length. So these sculpins are very likely the species known as a prickly sculpin, which if you just drag your finger backwards, it kind of catches on the scales right here, which makes them the prickly sculpin, one of the most abundant sculpins around here. Sometimes people refer to these as bullheads, but they're not, they're a sculpin. Go with 80 millimeters. Good enough. Sculpins are one of several other fish species found in the wetland, but they're one of the primary predators of sticklebacks in tidal waters. Zooming in close, you can see the little prickles on the sides of the fish that give it its name. Got it's hard to see his scoots because he's gotten kind of slimy in the breeding color, but he's got plates coming back to right about the tip of my thumb and then back further they kind of fade out and he doesn't have much of a of a keel on the tail maybe just the faintest one I would call this a lower plated morph this is more of the freshwater version plus he's in whoop now he's back in the water and he's in spawning coloration well that was it for the fish images let's go look at the data and see what we can make of that 